This video covers the processing of an allotment of shares in GreatSoft Secretarial. Let's get started. Again. Click on the SEC module icon on your main dashboard to go straight to the SEC register dashboard. Open the register and navigate to the allotments tab along the left. It is important to note that you will not be able to allot shares unless they have been authorized in the Authorized Capital tab first. To create a new allotment, click on the plus button and capture the necessary information starting with a unique reference number and the date of the allotment. If the allotment has already been executed, the date of completion should be captured in the registered field. Once you start typing in the class of share field, you will note that a pick list will appear consisting of all the active classes already recorded in the Authorize Capital tab. Select the required class from this list before continuing. If the class selected has been marked in the Authorize Capital tab as having a par value, the par value checkbox in the allotment will be ticked automatically. The amount consideration field will also be greyed out and locked for editing as the system will automatically calculate the amount. If however the class selected has no par value, the par value checkbox will be left unticked and the amount consideration field left open, while the premium and total premium fields will be locked for editing as these do not apply in the case of no par value shares. After capturing the share class, enter the number of shares being allotted and the shareholder to whom the shares are being issued. The shareholder field will display a pick list of entities pulled from CRM, so the shareholder will have to have been created there before you can allot the shares. If the allotment you are capturing relates to a company registered under the old Companies Act and the allotment is for the shares subscribed for in the Memorandum of Association, be sure to tick the subscriber checkbox. Should the shares being allotted have a par value, the premium field can be used to record any premium paid per share over and above the par value. The system will multiply this amount by the number of shares being allotted to automatically populate the total premium field. It will also automatically populate the amount consideration field, being the total amount paid for the shares by multiplying the number of shares by the nominal value and adding the total premium. If, however, the shares have no par value, simply record any sum which might be paid for the shares in the amount consideration field. In instances where the shareholder selected will be acting as a nominee for another party who derives the benefit of the shareholding, the name of the beneficial owner must be captured here by selecting the relevant name from the pick list which appears. They too would need to first have been created in CRM. The certificate number field will automatically be populated with the next consecutive number available in that share class, but this can be changed if necessary. If the allottee is acquiring the shares in exchange for other assets or services instead of cash, then the value of those assets or services must be entered in the other than cash field. The from distinctive and to distinctive fields are for any distinctive numbers still used. Click on the save button. If the registered date was left blank, a workflow item will be created. These documents can be viewed and printed by clicking on Show. Once the transaction has been executed, click on Complete and Register and capture the relevant date in order to clear the workflow item and update the transaction in the register. Alternatively, you can click on Complete and then manually update the transaction. 